Oh, she's coming up again. Okay. Alice number 12. Okay, this is about exploring a new world and letting the old one go. About it being okay to do so. This is a card of change. Changing how you do life. How you do relationship. Let me get you the first little blurb of these because I love what she writes for her cards. It says, new worlds are calling you forth where the old rules don't apply. It might seem strange or freeing or wild or even scary at first. But you are meant to explore these new worlds. You will gain so much from the experience. There's no need to be afraid. So when Alice shows up, she's the indicator that it's okay to proceed when this is uncharted territory for you. Okay. Let's see what energy is going to support Alice. Okay. Yep. Okay. A fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. Okay. Let's see, which shall we start with? Okay. Let's see what is going on. Sagittarius for the first week of March 2021. I feel like many of you have already been going down this path. Not for a while, but, but at least have started down this path. And now, now it's time for, not the choice point, but um, the reward I'm hearing? Okay. Yeah, nine of, nine of wands, try to poke out. Yeah, you, you've, you've been at this. You've learned some stuff. Yep, <laughs> three of pentacles. World. Moon, Knight of Pentacles, Empress, Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords, interesting, Wheel of Fortune coming in hot. Someone is anxious about making this decision, that's a new beginning in love. It is destined for this Knight of Swords to come in, for this change to happen. Okay. Let me call it like I see it. This is a connection that has ended before. This is someone you know. Sorry. Some of the other readings, there's, there's speculation where it could be someone new. This is pretty clear. I mean, it's no Six of Cups, Three of Cups, but it's pretty clear that this is something that's ended and is beginning again. Ended Ten of Swords, beginning again, Ace of Swords, world, endings, and new beginnings. The I'm going to read this side as you, Sag, this side as your person, and this as the situation. So this is a situation of collaboration, of working on things together. This could have even started at work. Okay? There were some illusions in the beginning about this connection that weren't very clear to this empress. Okay? That... She understood more than you realize, but there were some, wow, okay, so there were some illusions there for her that wasn't necessarily your doing. Interesting. At the same time, these it was easy for these illusions to take root because you were taking too long to make something happen. So, so her being elsewhere puts you on the path to someplace new. Interesting. Okay. I, I got to clarify this. This is getting... <laughs> All right, let's go there. Because <laughs> it really feels like down the rabbit hole, Alice in Wonderland. Like, Okay, let's expand on the Three of Pentacles. Okay. 
Ace of Wands. The Devil. King of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Justice. So there was something karmic about this previous cycle. There was serious chemistry in the beginning. There was something incredibly karmic about it. This learning about, I feel like, I feel like this is you, Sag, because this is all about the past. Seven of Pentacles, not making a move, possibly in partnership with someone else, but there's no cups about it. There's, there's no cups in how relationship is viewed. It's, it's wands and pentacles and swords, no cups, no emotions. Whereas there's serious emotions, depth of emotions over here. But I, this is this is more than emotions. This is also illusions for her. So, as a result of this connection, beginning in whatever familiar place could be work, could be a place where you both have a share a similar hobby, gym, a place that wherever it is the place that you frequent. There is this desire to understand what happened before and how the, that Libra energy is standing out more than the, the Capricorn energy. It's so crazy. It's usually the other way around. There is this end to this karmic cycle. There is rebalance here with this justice card and there is space to collaborate now because of that ending. But this feels... This, this feels skin deep. It feels superficial. However, this happened before. Or this could have been the relationship that you chose instead or that you were already in. That's not going to apply to all of you. This isn't always a third party thing. Let's expand on the world on your side and see where we go. Nine of Cups, Three of Cups. Wanting to reconnect, bring in this new offer of love at a little bit of a faster pace. Knight of Pentacles, what do we have for the Knight of Pentacles? Yep, Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Three of Swords. This is Taurus and Libra. Those, there's our earth signs. There's something about not wanting to leave the thing that you're in. This is wanting to bring this work. So it was a third party thing. You, you wanting to bring this in, restart this whole thing. And then in this mid level, there is the desire to do something, but the desire to do nothing is greater. Let's expand on the Ten of Swords, please. Oh, Queen of Wands. Let's see. Mmm. Eight of Cups. Queen of Cups. So it feels like there was some ego in this. For who, for, for you, I'm, if I'm going to be brutally honest here, it looks like there was some ego in this from you. So this person, this empress basically mustered up the um, confidence to walk away and to end this cycle. She's done. Done, done, done. All right. This, I really want to see what's going on with this man. Let's expand on the moon, please. Five of Cups, Hangman, Queen of Pentacles Lovers, Star.
There's something else here. Now we have King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. She she definitely regrets leaving herself in this situation for as long as she did. When she should have kept her eye on destined love instead of focusing on the mess the moon was covering up. There was something mysterious about this for her. There was something hidden about this that sparked her curiosity, which is why she hung in there. One more for the hangman, please. Yeah, was it, yeah. Five of Wands, magician. There, there, there's, this is starting to get a little bit deceptive. Um, and the Five of Wands, Five of Cups starting. Okay. So this, this Empress is a powerful manifester. There was, there was definitely an inner struggle about if she should leave the situation or not because the connection ran so deep. It was very hard to walk away. Very hard to walk away. Okay. Let's expand on the Empress, please. Wheel of Fortune. Tower. Queen of Cups. Nine of Swords. <laughs> Fuck up pentacles full. Okay, so she gets to ride the Wheel of Fortune, whereas it looks like the tower is hitting you. I see it's... Okay, no, no, it's, it's, it's hitting you both. It's hitting you both. There's the Empress in the world again. Yep, this is hitting you both. Okay, so... <laughs> there's a breakthrough in the heart center for her. That's that is that has kept her holding on to you, and now that's gone, and now she, that now there is the space for her to be the fool elsewhere. Okay. There's anxiety for you because when she leaves, there's a breakdown in your life, somewhere very tangible. This could have been someone who worked for you that was a critical part of your team. And now that piece is gone. Ace of Swords. Let's expand on the Ace of Swords. Moon again. Nine of Swords. Page of Cups. Four of Cups. Nine of Wands. There's... Okay. So this moon was covering up some immaturity. Some things she could not see truth that was being blocked this really could be a, a separate energy i'm kind of getting you know how um the movie constantine with keanu reeves when she wakes up her psychic gifts by basically drowning her in the bathtub and before he does that he says when you do this there's no going back you see them they see you this empress has evolved to such a high level that there's this feeling of not being able to fully protect herself in these spiritual depths entirely. So she's, there's still more to be learned there. And it looks like that got caught up and kind of manifested a bit of a, a haze as she tried to view this situation with you. Situation.